call the 10th regular meeting of the 2020-2021 uh, Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The smallest act of kindness is worth more than the grandest intention. Thank you very much. Would the clerk then please call the roll for the meeting? Alderperson Bourne? Here. Alderperson Donahue? Here. Alderperson Feldy? Here. Alderperson Ackley? Here. Alderperson Decker? Here. Alderperson Sorensen? Here. Alderperson Savaglio? Here. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Here. Alderperson Mitchell? Here. Alderperson Phillips? Here. There are 10 present. Thank you very much. Uh, next, I'd like to ask you to please uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is approval of minutes from our meeting on August 3rd. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move for the approval of the minutes from our August 3rd meeting. Okay. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there just any discussion on the minutes from August 3rd? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. 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 Oppo aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, next is confirmation of mayor's appointments. I'll turn it over to Assistant City Attorney Thomas Cameron. Thank you. Honorable, honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Alexandria King Close to be considered for appointment to the Mayor's International Committee. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to confirm. Okay. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Please proceed. Um, Attorney Cameron. Honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Kyle Kayboard to be considered for appointment to the Board of License Examiners to fill a vacancy with the term expiring on April 19th, 2021. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to confirm the appointment. Second. The appointment is before us. Is there, uh, uh, let's see, um, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to public forum. There is no one this evening. Thank you. Uh, then we'll go on to mayor's announcements. Just want to review the, uh, the COVID-19 numbers uh, for Monday the 17th. Uh, compared to last week, uh, we're up to 887 positive cases. That's up 83 from last week, which is a slight decrease from the uh, percentage or the number that we've had uh, the previous two weeks. We have 105 active cases, and that's down 40 active cases from 145 last week. We have 774 cases that have recovered, and that's up 123 from last week. Um, we had three people in the hospital last week, and now we have seven, so that's an increase of four. We're still uh, standing with eight people that have passed away due to the COVID virus. And we have 24,733 negative tests, and that's up 2,172 from last week. And the percentage of positive tests to uh, the total test is standing at 3.4%, and that's uh, remained the same from last week. The COVID-19 is a terrible virus that continued, we continue to learn more about every day. 
However, we do know some of the best practices, including masks and face cloth coverings, physical distance, and keeping our social circles small. These are all key to slowing the spread of the virus. We also know that working together is a key uh, to our lives returning to normal. A new ordinance is gonna be introduced on Tuesday, August 18th, tomorrow at the Sheboygan County Board of Supervisors meeting regarding the coronavirus pandemic. This ordinance provides for enforcement of public health orders and legislative oversight. At this meeting, the ordinance will then be referred to a committee for a recommendation and returned to the county board for a final vote on September 15th. The goal of the proposed ordinance is to be prepared uh, to be used if we see a significant spike in the COVID-19 uh, insurgents in our hospitals, and if they are on the brink of being swamped with cases, and the, then the uh, county public health officer uh, does have significant authority in state, state law and statutes, and has proposed that this ordinance will soften the existing authority as it proposes checks and balances with legislated oversight by the county board. There are currently no local public health orders in place. If we do see a surge of COVID-19 in our community and need to take stronger action to protect the health and the vitality of our community, we will have a stronger collaborative approach established and in place. The purpose of this ordinance is to be prepared if the situation gets significantly worse and if the greater countywide action needs to be taken. The ordinance also includes an enforcement component that is easier to administer and less punitive, and again, only if needed. This week, you will see new billboards and a bus wrap ads to ask everyone to do their part to stop the spread of the coronavirus in Sheboygan County. Please wear a mask and maintain social distance. These are challenging and unprecedented times and will take all of us working together to keep our community safe and our businesses open. Next, we'll go on to the consent agenda. This will include items 2.2 through 2.11. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs and receive all reports of committees and adopt the resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for the motion and support. The consent agenda is before us. Is there any discussion on any of the items in the consent agenda? Seeing none, I ask the clerk to call the roll. Alderperson Phillips? Aye. Alderperson Feldy? Aye. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Moving on to reports of officers. Item 3.1 is RO number 51 of 2021 by the City Planning Commission, to whom was referred General Ordinance number 14 of 2021 by Alderpersons Ackley and RO number 44 of 2021 by the City Clerk, granting a showcase painting and drywall and its successors and assigns the privilege of encroaching upon the described portions of an unimproved alley in block one of the plat of Lawndale Edition located uh, east of North 18th Street in the city of Sheboygan for the purpose of installing air conditioner unit and venting 
and venting, ventilation ducting and recommends to receive the RO and adopt the ordinance. Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, make a motion to receive the RO and adopt the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any other discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Okay, my board docs is not working, so I need to take a voice vote here. Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Bourne? Aye. Oh, it might be working now. All right, it should be working now. you see it? No. Okay, we'll keep going. Alder, Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Donahue? Aye. Alderperson Feldy? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Phillips? Aye. Alderperson Savaglio? Aye. Alderperson Sorensen? Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski. Aye. Ten eyes. Motion passes. Item 3.2 is RO number 52 of 2021 by the city clerk submitting communication from the Wisconsin Department of Revenue approving the request by the city of Sheboygan to extend the life of tax incremental district uh, number 18. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mary. Move to receive and file the RO. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item 3.3 will be referred to the City Plan Commission. Under resolutions, item uh, 4.1 is resolution number 71 of 2021 by Alderperson Sorensen and Donahue, authorizing the sale of land in the Sheboygan Business Center. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to suspend the rules and adopt the resolution. Is there any objection to suspension? Please proceed. Uh, move for approval. Second. Thank you for that motion. Is there any discussion on the motion? Mayor, this is Alderman Boren. Could we get a, a, a little explanation on this transaction from Chad if he's there? Sure. There you go, Chad. Thank you. So this is the item that was discussed in the Finance and Personnel Committee meeting that was unable to be um, adjourned because of um, some challenges. So this is the 8.7 acre parcel in the current Sheboygan Business Center, the old park that Torganol is buying. So we got an offer to purchase and it's we have to sign it off, sign by tomorrow. Um, as the date, so that's the reason for the suspension of the rules. This is about $187,000 of uh, revenue that we'll receive at 22,000 an acre. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other discussion? See Mayor, none? Barb Feldy. Please go ahead, Barb. Chad, is that the going rate per acre, or um, have we given a deal for this to, to sell that land? Um, I need to know, you know, if if it's around where we are usually at selling land. Chad, please reply. In this current business park, in the in the existing business park, this isn't the new one. This is the one that was developed 22 years ago. Um, we've always sold the land for 22,000 an acre, so that's the standard price. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, Barb. Any other discussion? 
Seeing none then, will the clerk please call the roll? Can you see it? Can I see it? Can you see it, Dean? Or not? No. Okay. Older person Ackley? Aye. Older person Bourne? Aye. Older person Decker? Aye. Older person Donahue? Aye. Older person Feldy? Aye. Older person Mitchell? Aye. Alder Person Phillips? Aye. Alder Person Savaglio? Aye. Alder Person Sorensen? Aye. Alder Person Felicki Paneski? Aye. Ten ayes. Motion passes. Items uh, 4.2 through 4.6 will be referred to various committees. Moving on to reports of committees. Item 5.1 is RC number 114 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred resolution number 65 of 2021 by older persons Donahue and Bourne awarding the sale of $4,610,000 in general obligation refunding bonds series 2020 C. Older person Donahue. Uh, I move to uh, adopt uh, the uh, report of the committee and award sale of 4.610 uh, in general obligation refunding bonds. Is there a second? I'll second that. Thank but, you for uh, that is, motion. Do we have an amended amount on that, Mary Lynn? Well, we have a motion well, we on have the an floor. Amount, um, um, it's, the floor is I'm open sorry, for an amendment. We do have an amended amount, but that is the resolution that came to the committee. Whatever uh, City Attorney Cameron thinks the motion's correct form is, I'm fine with that. I would, uh, I would be comfortable with the motion being uh, to approve awarding the sale of the 4.635 million, since that's the amount actually actually moving forward, and that's what came out of May. Perfect. Thank you. And I would, uh, I would just uh, not amend, but uh, correct my motion accordingly. Second. Thank you. Thank you for that amendment. Is there any discussion on the amendment? Seeing none, all those in favor? It's not an amendment. It's, it's a correction to the form of the motion. Um, I got the number wrong. So I'm just correcting the, the, the motion. So I don't think we need to do the amendment and then, well, whatever you want to do is fine. I, Thomas, is he, uh, would you prefer an amendment on this or a correction? I, I'm, I'm comfortable with it being just a motion to approve, uh, again, since that's what came out of committee. Um, so uh, Alder Person Donahue's clarified the, the intent of her motion was to approve that, that resolution. Okay, then we'll be discussing the main motion. Is there any um, further discussion on the main motion as corrected? I just, Mayor, I'll, I'll go Mayor, ahead, Alder Person. Have Carol make some comments. Carol, are you online? I'm here. Oh, great. Why don't you give us a little bit of a wrap up on the uh, documents that you presented to finance earlier today? Okay, uh, I'll summarize. Uh, we are following up on a report from July. Uh, where we talked about uh, refinancing uh, existing 2007 bonds strictly for interest savings since those bonds are currently outstanding over a 4% interest rate. So we prepared to enter the bond market and we went through the Moody's bond rating process and I'm happy to report Moody's uh, did reaffirm the city's AA2 bond rating. Uh, so I, have, I did attach the credit report uh, that came out of that committee meeting. And the sale took place this morning where we received four bids from underwriters. And the dollar amount we started with was 4610000 And that was determined, the final dollar amount was determined by how much premium the winning bidder submitted. So they submitted a little less than what we anticipated. So that's what raised the issue size to the 4635 the winning bidder was the firm called BOK Financial Securities, 
and the true interest rate was 0.64%. Okay, the original rate we were anticipating back in July was 0.97, uh, but that's how much uh, the market, again, has continued to uh, de decline in terms of interest rate. The final result is the city is saving $701,733. So that was uh, projected at about 647,000. So the difference in those rates is what's obviously producing a greater uh, <coughs> saving. And also that is a net saving because the winning bidder is required to pay all expenses associated with the financing. And that is included in that interest rate of the 0.64%. The um, issue itself is repaid from 2021 through 2026, which was the original term of the 2007 bond. So the resolution that the council is acting on tonight uh, contains those terms and details. And the council action will approve those, not only those borrowing terms, but the final interest rates. It will also award the bond to the firm of BOK Financial Securities. And it also has a notice of call that is calling in those 2007 bonds and stopping that interest rate over 4% as of October 1. The city will receive all the money on September 15th and it will stay in debt service since this is for debt service only. There's no new money or capital projects included in this borrowing. And the 2007 bonds will be paid off on October 1 of this year. So the, uh, my report does contain um, annual debt service savings, but the option that we chose was to have 225,000 of savings that will occur both in 2021 and 2022. And then we will have about 62,000 savings from 2023 to 2026. And that's how we get to the $701,000, okay? And the rest of my report is basically including the credit report from Moody's, which is a, a very favorable report since we presented the 2019 audit, which does uh, show the city uh, uh, adding to fund balance, which is always uh, considered that a, a good thing. And uh, also the 2020 equalized values were released, which shows the city enjoying a very healthy 13% increase in its value. So those two uh, new, new updates were presented to Moody's and were received very favorably by the rating committee. So the credit report is included um, as well as then the final resolution that the council is acting on. So any questions? Thank you very much. Are there any questions for Carol? Uh, Mayor, this is Alderman Boren. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I just I just wanted to thank uh, Carol for her work on this, along with our finance director Marty, and for the people watching. This is refinancing our police department debt from back in 2007, and this is a $701,733 is a tremendous savings for us. So that's great. Uh, I hope there's some future ones that are coming up that we can back up the truck for. Also, thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, any other comments? <laughs> okay, I, with that then, I'd uh, ask the clerk to call the roll. Can you see it, Dean? Does it come up? No. Okay. Um, Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Born. Aye. Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Donahue? Aye. Alderperson Feldy? Aye. Donahue? Alder Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Phillips? Aye. Alderperson Phillips? Aye. Alderperson Savaglio? Aye. Alderperson Swanson? Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Aye. Ten ayes. Motion passes. 
Next, we'll go on to item 5.2, which is RC number 115 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 66 of 2021 by all the persons Donahue and Bourne authorizing the city administrator to negotiate settlement of certain claims made by the city of Sheboygan and recommends adopting the resolution. Alderperson Donahue. I move to uh, receive the report of the committee and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Bourne? Aye. Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Donahue? Aye. Alderperson Feldy? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Phillips? Aye. Alderperson Spoglio? Aye. Alderperson Sorensen? Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Aye. Ten ayes. Motion passes. Moving on to item 5.3, which is RC number 116 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 67 of 2021 by all the persons Donahue and Bourne, adopting certain changes to the city's medical benefit and dental benefit plan effective for calendar year 2021. Um, coverage and establishing the monthly premium equivalent rates for January 21, 21 coverage uh, thereafter. Alderperson Donahue. I move to receive the report of the committee and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Bourne? Aye. Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Donahue? Aye. Alderperson Feldy? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Phillips? Alderperson Phillips? Aye. Alderperson Spoglio? Aye. Alderperson Sorensen? Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Aye. Ten ayes. Motion passes. Next is item 5.4, which is RC number 117 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to was referred direct referral. Uh, resolution number 69 of 2021 by Alderpersons Donahue and Boren authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a loan agreement with the Housing Authority of the City of Sheboygan and recommends adopting the resolution. Alderperson Donahue. I move to receive the report of the committee and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Bourne? Aye. Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Donahue? Aye. Alderperson Feldy? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Phillips? Aye. Alderperson Savaglio? Aye. Alderperson Sorensen? Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Aye. Ten ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.5 .5 is RC number 118 of 2021 by the Public Works Committee to whom was referred direct referral resolution number 70 of 2021 by Alderperson Decker and Sorensen authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Highway, Highway Landscapers Incorporated regarding the placement of topsoil at the South Point Enterprise campus. Alderperson Decker. Aye. 
Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the R RC and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Ackley? Aye. Alderperson Bourne? Aye. Alderperson Decker? Aye. Alderperson Donahue? Aye. Alderperson Feldy? Aye. Alderperson Mitchell? Aye. Alderperson Phillips? Aye. Alderperson Phillips? Aye. Alderperson Savaglio? Aye. Alderperson Sorensen? Aye. Alderperson, Aye. Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Aye. Ten ayes. Motion passes. Under general ordinances, items 6.1 through 6.3 will be referred to various committees. Under uh, other matters authorized by law, I'll turn it over to Attorney uh, Cameron. Thank you. Item uh, 7.1 is RO number 54 of 2021 by the city clerk submitting various license applications. That'll be referred to the licensing hearings and public safety committee. Next item is adjournment. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you very much for your time tonight. <laughs>